Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for Wednesday, April 10th, 2019. Happy Hump Day. I hope everyone is having a good week so far. So this is just the general energy reading, okay? So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a look into your own personal situation, you can go ahead and email me. My email is in the description box below. Also, you guys can check me out on Instagram and Facebook. I'm sure you, many of you know that already, For, but for those of you that are new, you can go ahead and check me out there. The links to my Instagram and Facebook pages are also in the description box below. All right, so let's just get into it guys uh, keep in mind that this is a general reading take what resonates leave what doesn't time is an illusion energy is fluid so just because it's coming through today or it's a message that's dated for today it doesn't mean that it has to be something that happens today it could be something that resonates today it could be something from the past that you're processing right now it could be something coming forward in the future all right so just keep that in mind <laughs> Okie dokie. And this is not specific to anything. Love, career, a sign. Um, this is just literally whatever spirit wants to discuss with us at this time. All right, guys. So let's get into it. My, there we go. Okay. My mug made, <laughs> made my table wet. Okay. Here we go. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today, Wednesday, April 10th, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys. So. Um, I'm seeing yellow, which is um, it most of the time represents clarity, um, so that's good. Uh, but also, this is just speaking to springtime in April, and you know, the sun shining, and it's getting warmer, and you know, spring has sprung, and illumination is coming in the form of you know, just things getting brighter and sunnier and happier, and. The trees are blooming, the flowers are growing and blooming, and or at least are going to be, and that's a really good thing. Really bright, beautiful energy, and with that comes pink, which is unconditional divine love. So uh, this is really just, Spirit just wants all of us right now to take a moment, um, whether it's right now or at some point in your day, to just appreciate nature, life, um, the cycles of nature, you know, the cycles of the season, you know, we just, we just came out of winter and we're still kind of moving through that Mercury retrograde energy, right? It's still in shadow period, but, um, you know, now is a time to really be thankful and grateful and appreciate and, and, and allow yourself to feel the energies of love that the divine is really just pouring into us right now. Like this is really a very loving time uh, for us, a very nurturing time. They're trying to help us, help many of us feel better, right? Okay, I'm gonna give this one more shuffle and then we'll see what we've got for today. All right, guys. Wednesday, April 10th. Best messages, please, Spirit. Happy Hump Day to everyone. I'm having trouble shuffling this today. There's one. Okay. Uh oh. All right. Okie dokie. Underneath the deck, we have. The Eight of Wands. All right, so this is clear and concise communication, swift communication, swift movement. We have a lot of cards here. Uh, we've got Judgment, Six of Swords, 
Knight of Swords, the Tower, Two of Swords, the Empress. These are face down. Okay, and then we have the Six of Six of Cups here with another face down card. All right, so let's just, let's just. I'm gonna put these here. Those have came up face down. And I'm gonna put this here, Six of Cups, with something else that's also face down. Okay. Um, there's a judgment call that's being made here, you guys. Oof. Um, the garbage truck is coming, so there's gonna be a little bit of sound coming through, but. Um, Please, and also, please excuse the pauses here. I'm, uh, well, now I want to wait for that truck to go by, but also I want to give myself some time to just, like, think about this, because this is very interesting. <sighs> there's definitely a judgment call being made, and it looks like there's going to be a good amount of communication about it. Um, the Eight of Wands is speaking to some sort of communication. Okay, uh, this judgment call is moving someone away from rough waters to calmer waters. It's an interesting, it's, a, it's an abrupt change, but I don't feel like it's an abrupt change for everyone. All right. You do have the tower here, an abrupt change. And there may be a pretty aggressive conversation about it knight of swords um but quite frankly with the six of swords energy here this six of swords energy is giving me an energy of um no bullshit like not trying to really not trying to discuss it in a way where we squash things and we move on together or something like that this just feels like Someone wants to really just move on from the drama um, or the difficulty. Moving from rough waters to calmer waters. And what it feels like in this moment is this person is moving from rough waters to calmer waters with intentions of just being free from any sort of tor turmoil. Just freedom that's what this feels like the most freedom wanting freedom at whatever it costs you know it's not about it's not about um sacrificing for that freedom anymore it's like no i want what i want i want this freedom i deserve this freedom judgment okay now the confusing thing about this right now is you have the two of swords with the empress beneath that so this either could be a form of mental balance, mental clarity, okay? This could be a refusal to fight, to argue, to discuss it much. Because this two of swords, this two of swords kind of feels pretty decisive, you know? Even though, <laughs> even though typically, it's not a decisive energy. It's actually very indecisive sometimes. It feels, in this sense, it feels decisive in terms of mental balance, okay? Because the Two of Swords, the Two of Swords can either be, um, well, normally it's, uh, you know, indecisiveness, uh, n not willing to make a decision, refusal to see something clearly, or not able to see something clearly, okay? Um, or, or it can also be, in my opinion, sometimes it does speak to needing mental ba balance or having, achieving a, mental, a mentally balanced state. The two is a number of balancing. Also is kind of a number of juggling too, but it, two is ultimately a number of balance. Um, and so with what I'm feeling with the rest of these cards here, this really could just be a very decisive, no, nope, I'm very clear on what I want. Uh, I'm very balanced mentally. I'm actually not trying to fight with you. I don't want to argue with you about this, even though you have 
<laughs> even though you have this Knight of Swords energy here, which can be very argumentative and very destructive with their words, the Knight of Swords is a very much a, is very much a shoot first, ask questions later type of energy. Okay, sometimes, but either way, it can be very. It's always pretty quite aggressive. It's just sometimes it needs to be provoked, and in this situation. I don't feel like anyone's really trying to fight, but if you poke the lion, it will roar, that kind of situation, okay? Uh, the Empress is here speaking to abundance, uh, also speaking to feminine energy. This feels like a very proud feminine energy, whether you're male or female. Especially with this Two of Swords. It's very interesting because the Two of Swords is giving me very much an energy of mental balance and clarity. Like, to this, uh, saying, no, I don't need to discuss it anymore. I don't need to figure anything else out. I don't need to seek anything. I get, I know exactly what I want. I'm actually quite balanced in it. Okay, so now I want to move over here. We're going to start with this one because the Six of Cups is upright, okay? This, it's upright also, but it's um, face up, okay? So this is a soulmate situation potentially. Ooh, whoa. Wow. Okay. Um, all right. So it's the six of <laughs> it's the six of swords with the three of swords reversed. Yowza. Okay. So yes, we are dealing with a soulmate situation here. Um, we're dealing with a relationship, a, a love relationship, a partnership. Um, it could be a long-standing one. It could be someone from your past. But the Three of Swords is in reverse. So there's definitely a release of whatever, whatever energy is coming through here that uh, was heartbreaking at one point. Tumultuous, uh, troublesome. Hoo-wee, yeah, you guys. There really has been a judgment call. There's either, it's either coming down the pipeline or it's already been made. In some cases, it's already been, um, this has already been discussed. In other cases, um, it's coming. It's a situation. Uh oh. Oh, there we go. Okay. Can you guys, I hope you can hear me. Let me double check. I turned my mic off by accident. Let me just see. Check, check, check. Okay, cool. Yay. Okay. We're still good. Um, so for some of you, this has already happened. The decision has already been made and either you're about to have the conversation or you've already had the conversation or there's a judgment call coming and it's because someone, yes, we have, sure, we have this bond here. You know, we have this bond. No denying it. It's there. But there's, there's heartbreak. There's trouble. A friend, an old friend of mine, when I was married, um, me and my husband, my ex, -hus my now ex-husband, but um, we were going through a little bit of a, a, a rough patch. And this this friend of ours, who I ended up living in, she lived in the building, but she said this thing once that, oh my God, it just got so under my skin. But she goes, "Trouble in paradise," and I'm like, "Are you kidding me?" <laughs> but yeah, that's kind of what this kind of what this feels like, okay? Now we have these two other cards that were face down. Ouch. Ooh, wow, okay. Ten of Wands with the Hermit. Mm. So someone, someone is really ready to give up the struggle here. Really, really ready. And it's an energy, oof, it's an energy of, I would much rather be alone then deal with this bullshit <laughs> is what the hermit and the ten of wands has to say about it okay like seriously like i i don't need i don't i don't need this i don't need this i would much rather be alone than have to deal with this now it doesn't have to be that extreme for some for some of you the situation is merely a point to or a, a, is strictly just a situation in which you have to take some alone time to deal with the burdens to deal with 
what's stressing you out, what's weighing you down, okay? Now, maybe this means, maybe this means that you go on hiatus. Or maybe this means you just like take a break from each other. If you're in a relationship, a romantic relationship, and it's like, you know, um, excuse me, you guys have gone, been going through a pretty rough, rough, rough patch or something like that, and you need, you know, you just need to take some time to yourselves. Okay, you need to take a break from each other. Okay. Um, but for others of you, it's just like, you know. I would much rather be alone than deal with this. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. I mean, there. We don't have the Nine of Pentacles yet because it could come out with the clarifiers. Um, and I'm not trying to call it out here. If it's going to come out, it's going to come out. But um, why I, I say that to say. We don't have any cards, I guess, other than the Three of Swords and the Tower that would speak to a breakup. But, but with that said, we do have the Three of Swords and we do have the Tower. Now, the Three of Swords is reversed. So, to me, someone is giving up, is letting go of the heartbreak. This could be a good thing. Maybe you're putting the past behind you, but I'm not going to lie. In conjunction with the rest of the energies here, you have Judgment, Six of Swords, Knight of Swords, the Tower. That feels like potential breakup energy. It doesn't have to be, though. The Tower is really what puts the icing on the cake. <clears throat> Just because it's a major, massive, abrupt change. Now, this could just be a big, massive change within your relationship, okay? It really could be. But at the same time, there's a judgment call coming, moving away from rough waters to calmer waters. A harsh, harsh, potentially, very harsh conversation with this Knight of Swords. Conversation, no doubt, between the Eight of Wands and the Knight of Swords, and then the Tower. Some big change is coming abrupt too, like totally unexpected by at least someone in the situation, maybe by both. Maybe you two get a finally get a moment where you can talk it out and it just ends in ruin. <laughs> and I don't mean to laugh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for laughing, but I don't know. The way I said that was just kind of funny. <laughs> I don't know. Not that a breakup is funny. Again, I apologize. I'm not trying to laugh at you, but or anyone that might be going through something like that. God, now I feel terrible, but I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. The way I said that, it just, it felt funny. Anyway, it's not a laughing matter, Eric. Uh, you know what, though? There is a lightheartedness to it, and that's kind of what the Three of Swords in Reverse is giving me right now. It's like, whatever. <laughs> whatever. I'm done dealing with this. So maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe that is funny to someone out there, especially if you're in this energy of, I would much rather be alone than deal with the burden. And I also heard the heartache, okay? Hermit, the hermit and the ten of wands. I would much rather be alone than deal with the heartbreak. So maybe, yeah, Maybe you guys do have a conversation in which you're trying to make it work yet again and it just crumbles. It just literally just falls to pieces and all you can do is just laugh and be like, all right, look, whatever. I'm moving forward. I'm moving on. It's been great. Um, I wish you well, but I'm going in a new direction. And that's also what this Two of Swords with the Empress is saying. It's like... Yes, in this situation, the Two of Swords is giving me an energy of being mentally balanced, mental, really very clear on what it is you want, okay? Um, very black and white about it. No if, ands, or buts. It's almost like a Queen of Swords energy, almost, in how clear you are about this, or whoever is, ab is about this. Coupled with the Empress, it's like, whatever, dude. Like, I don't have to stay here and deal with this shit. There are plenty of fish in the sea. 
or there are plenty of opportunities for me to meet someone new and have a much better relation relationship potentially or there is plenty for me to do outside of having this relationship like I have a life other than just this relationship that's what the t the two of swords and the empress kind of feels like okay so yeah it kind of maybe it is a little funny at this point you know maybe maybe you do need to laugh about it maybe you've just been struggling at this for a very long time and now something's finally got to give you know the three of swords in reverse can kind of be seen as the straw that broke the camel's back right that was just a, literally the last straw. I'm not going to allow myself to feel like this anymore. I don't care if we have a, a bond, a strong soulmate bond. Uh -oh. Hey guys, so um, I had some technical difficulties during the reading. My mic died, and so I unplugged it and I changed the input source on my computer and <laughs> this happened halfway through the reading and there was no audio for any of it for the last half of the reading which included all the clarification and the uh, the um the oracle guidance I'm trying so hard to keep it together because I'm really kind of upset about it right now because it I'm just, anyway, I'm going to try, I'm going to try and go back and explain to you guys what came out here. Obviously, you're not seeing me draw all the cards, which is really unfortunate. You know I don't like to do it this way, but basically, I'm going to recap here, okay? Initially, I wanted to, um, I wanted to clarify the Two of Swords and the Empress, which is underneath all of this mess. Um, but I was going to just go ahead and let everything just clarify. But I was like, you know what? Let me just clarify this Two of Swords and the Empress first. That feels better. And as I was doing that, it all just kind of flew out. So here's what we have. On the Two of Swords, the first thing that came out was judgment again. Okay, so someone is very clear about what they want. And they're very balanced. And that's what I was picking up before, especially with chariot, the chariot that came out after that, okay? You're very clear and you're very balanced at what you want on what you want. You've made your judgment call, and now you're either working on getting the balance to move forward or you have it already. Because someone here is like, look, I know we have we I know we have this connection here. Six of Cups came out again, all right? I know we have this connection. But I don't want to deal with all of this shit. Three of Swords, Five of Cups, Four of Cups, the heartbreak, the boredom, the rejection, the unrequited love, whatever, whatever it would, would be that would lead you to feel like, 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 like feel the energy of that Five of Cups situation, regardless of what kind of relationship you have in this situation, I would much rather be alone. The Hermit, okay? I would much rather be alone. On the Empress, you have the Ten of Pentacles with the Knight of Cups with the Four of Wands, all right? There's definitely a situation in which um, this person here, whoever is make, moving forward, is feeling solid, all right? There's also an energy of lessons learned here um, with this Ten of Pentacles. Someone is feeling very solid in themselves. Um, they have a good foundation within themselves. They know they're not going to be alone forever. They feel the abundance of the universe within the Empress here, the abundance, the plethora of opportunities, which is what we'll get into when we get into the Oracle section here because that came out again. And then on the Tower, you have the Devil in reverse, okay? So obviously there's great change coming. Now, what I was getting with this also because it's it's here with the five of swords so you have the devil in reverse with the five of swords upright and for some time there may have been a resistance towards leaving um codependency toxicity whatnot leaving this situation that probably just no longer serves you leaving it behind and with the five of swords that was giving me an energy of um enabling you know, enabling the situation to remain what it is, enabling people to remain, to continue acting in the way that they've been acting. 
um, but now that's being released. Self-discovery with the Page of Wands and the, and success with the Six of Wands, okay? It's being released. I am so sorry, guys. This is like literally a, a recap, a mini recap, but I don't want... I, I don't want this reading to go to waste, all right? And I wish I wish you could have seen me draw it. I'm really kind of upset about this, but whatever. Two of Wands is underneath the deck here. So there's a choice. There is a You're at a crossroads. Somebody's at a crossroads here. And it feels like they've already really kind of decided what direction they want to go in. Um, but are, they're also, maybe there's some more decisions that need to be made here, okay? Hmm. All right. So then, give me a second. I just want to make sure that I recapped everything. Yeah. All right. So then we have our oracle guidance here. We, I wanted to go, I, I was feeling called to um, go with the animal spirits. And the first card that came out was Butterfly. And I was saying when that card came out, the first thing I heard was Mariah Carey's song, Butterfly. Um, and also I mentioned that um, last week, you know, we've been doing these soulmate readings, I mean, for the last week and a half now. But last week, all week, I had Mariah Carey's song, uh, Shake It Off like running in repeats through my head all week. Um, and so it's really interesting now that we have this card coming out, Butterfly, and um, it is, it's accompanied by another one of her songs. I'm going to read these again, because I already did it once, but I'm not going to skip over this part. I'll read them. Butterfly, undergoing great change and transformation. The energy of the butterfly is with us during periods of transition. Since air is the element of the heart, this, this change usually involves relationships, or if you love your job, perhaps your career. Since transition is accompanied by some amount of discomfort, be extra patient and kind during this time, especially if the butterfly is you. Let solid friends and activities support you like a, quote, cocoon, committing to one daily routine, a meal, practice, or prayer done at the same place and time will do wonders for lifting a butterfly's spirit. When in balance, butterfly is cheerful and graceful. When out of balance, butterfly is fragile and frustrated. To bring into balance, one must uh, practice a daily routine. And the other thing I was saying about this is that, um, you know, I really personally, I've gotten back into my daily morning routine of getting up and doing some meditation and some yoga, you know, to get my day started, doing like a, a, a core or um, a, an upper body workout and then getting on with my day. And it's actually been really super helpful. Like I, I really enjoy it and appreciate it, okay? So maybe you should, I would recommend getting into something like that for yourself, finding what would work for you and just going for it. Okay, and then we have Black Egg. Speaking from an authentic voice, the truth. The black egg contains one of life's essential treasures, the truth. Inside of it resides no confusion, excuses, small talk, noise, or lies, not even white ones. This living and breathing vessel harbors only that which rings true. When this essence is in balance, we speak slowly and clearly. We are drawn to activities like writing, reading, teaching, singing, or perhaps public speaking. Sounds draw us in. Books draw us in. The concept of truth itself draws us in. We start asking questions like, what do I know to be true about myself? And what is true about the world? When the energy of the black egg is not yet accessed, we speak from an unsure place. We say things others want to hear, gossip or repeat stories to justify our subpar behavior. We might even try to convince ourselves that we have no inner truth at all. The energy of the black egg hovers and waits for us to reconnect. It is available at any moment, in every situation. It's epicenter of truth, the birthplace of our voice. The black egg and the fifth chakra. The subtle essence of this card resides at the base of the throat, at the Vizuda chakra. The ancient sages saw this center as the hub that governs our speech and expression. Vizuda translates as especially pure. The balance of this, of this center is important for all of us, but it's especially essential for writers, editors, musicians, 
and teachers. And the thing about that is, um, you know, we do have, we started the reading with the Eight of Wands um, as the overall energy underneath the deck. And then we also have this Knight of Swords here. And I was saying there is some sort of conversation or communication that's coming through here. It probably is going to be <laughs> pretty dramatic, okay? It could probably be pretty dramatic. This Knight of Swords can be a very dramatic character, all right? Um, but, you know, it could be fairly aggressive too. But there is some sort of truth that needs to be spoken here. Absolutely, 100%, all right? So then um, I decided I chose to close the reading with only one card from the Crystal Mandala deck, and we got card number 35, Ascended Master Di Babaji and Diamond. So it shall be. Okay, give me just a second here. I have to... I have to get the book back out. Hold on, guys. Jeez. Oh, this is... I'm trying not to be frustrated by this. It's just really annoying, you know? I mean... I lost that whole conversation I was having with you guys because of stupid... Okay. Here we go. <laughs> All right. So it shall be. We bring you the blessing of so it shall be. There are times when you will go through your life journey without any sign of what's going to happen. You may be working hard to heal an issue or build your dream and not really know if you are ever going to be successful. You may hope for the best, but not know whether you should really expect the worst. You may sense that the universe is asking you to trust in how things are going to turn out, and yet giving up your uncertainty is difficult. That usually means total and uncompromising commitment is difficult too. Where there is uncertainty, there is often hesitation and procrastination. Spirit doesn't want you to miss out on your dreams because you lack faith and therefore are holding yourself back for, from going for it with all that you have within. So you are being given the blessing of divine decree, of absolute confirmation of success, and the divine granting you, uh, and the divine granting of a wish fulfilled. Switch your thinking from possibility to inevitability. It is not a question of if, but when. It's not a question of if, but when. Know that you are going to succeed and commit yourself completely. Don't hold back. Go for it with gusto. According to divine will, you shall manifest the highest expression of your divine destiny this lifetime. So it shall be. And the other message that was coming through with that was um, what I was feeling with the Empress. Now, the first time this card came out, um, I noticed that it was card 35, which boils down to an 8. And eight is a number of abundance, and the Empress here represents abundance. So I immediately started thinking about what I was saying here about someone is very sure of themselves. Someone very is is very aware of the fact that um, they're going to be just fine. Okay, they are going to be just fine, and this card represents or represents that, but also um, uh, confirms that. You know, it's saying. Everything's going to be okay. You have the, the, abundance, the abundance of the universe at your disposal, so don't even worry about it. Um, but someone really just does not want to deal with the drama anymore or the bullshit anymore or the burdens anymore, especially with this Ten of Wands energy and the Hermit. Someone would much rather be on their own than dealing with the turmoil, the struggle, the drama, the, the burden. <sighs> okay, guys. I hope that was helpful. Um, I hope I didn't miss anything. I mean, I really apologize for this mishap. I'm really kind of upset about it, but whatever. It is what it is. I'm not going to let this ru ruin my day. <laughs> um, I, I, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys have a great day, and I look forward to connecting with you again tomorrow for our next cup of coffee with a fresh pair of batteries in my microphone. <laughs> Okay, take care. Mwah. Bye.